Lorelei, run a security check. It looks like everything is secure for the most part. No unusual movement was detected inside, motion sensors are clear, and all doors and windows are closed and locked. Your car is safe and sound in the garage. However, there is a bit of unusual animal activity outside, specifically on the back porch, it looks like a fox chased a raccoon up one of the banisters. What? Nothing security related, but it might be worth keeping an eye on if they decide to hang around. Other than that, the yard, garage, and shed all appear secure. Alright, so that was a bit of an extreme example, and no that didn't really happen, at least not to me, I mean that is real footage. Link in the description if you want to see the fox chasing raccoon video in full. But it does illustrate a very real script that I have running in Home Assistant, partially powered by AI, or more specifically, an LLM. I'm using OpenAI and Home Assistant to work together to analyze a combination of sensors in my home and camera snapshots. And it's able to combine a lot of different camera technology and sensors that otherwise wouldn't be talking to each other. And that's another huge power and selling point of Home Assistant. It's able to unify ecosystems that really were never designed to do that. For example, this Blink camera got these sprinkled around the property and they're notorious for not really working well with other systems. I've got some ring doorbells, I've got some power over ethernet cameras, and Home Assistant allows me to bring all of them together and then combine them in a cool way like my security check script and automation series. Whether it's a bump in the night or if I just want a general lay of the land, I can do that with a simple voice command to my Home Assistant voice PE or really any expression of Home Assistant's voice is capable of this. It's really a script and a combination of clever integrations that make it happen. So let's take a closer look at that script. And uh, if you like the video so far, please drop me a like, subscribe. I'm a pretty new channel and every like helps me a ton. All right, so before I go into the specifics of this script, I wanted to go over some dependencies that you'll need to have installed and running before you can really build on top of that and do something like we saw today. So the first thing you need to have installed, if it wasn't obvious, is Home Assistant. And you need to have some camera entities within Home Assistant to be analyzed. In my case, I've got a combination of Ring and Blink cameras, but anything that creates a camera or snapshot entity within Home Assistant should work just fine. You'll need an LLM Voice Assistant configured in Home Assistant. In my case, I've gone with OpenAI, and it's as simple as signing up dropping in a credit card, creating an API key, and then dropping that API key into this integration. You'll also need a text-to-speech and speech-to-text engine. It sounds complicated, but in reality, this is one of the core components that go into setting up your voice assistant. In my case, I am a Nabucasa or Home Assistant Cloud subscriber, which really simplifies the process, and signing up for that service does support Home Assistant directly but there are a ton of options that are free if you'd like to explore some others. You'll need something that can analyze the camera visuals. In my case, I'm using the LLM Vision integration. And then you need a basic understanding of how to expose scripts to assist. That involves giving your script a detailed title and description. This is literally what your LLM reads to define the tool and understand how to use it. And then you need to expose the script to assist, otherwise, they won't be able to run the script. All right, so once you've got that in place, let's take a look at the script. With this script, I provide my LLM assistant four different pathways to go down. One will check all of my sensors and cameras. One is just for motion sensors and contact sensors. One is just for cameras, and one specifically targets the basement. I also define a very detailed description of what the script does so the LLM understands how to use this tool. We look down at the flowchart here, we can see exactly what's going on in each of these four pipelines. All in all, it's relatively simple. We have the question which I asked the LLM which invokes this script, and depending upon what I've asked for, the LLM will make a choice to go down one of these pathways. If it takes the most complex pathway, to query everything, it'll first take snapshots of all of my cameras. So first the Blink cameras, then the Ring cameras. And because these are cloud-based cameras, I do have a pretty significant delay built in. And then once all of the new snapshots are available, 
they will be analyzed by the LLM. And then the motion sensors and contact sensor states are queried as well. And all of that is rolled up in a response that gets passed to the LLM that I originally asked it to, so my voice assistant analyzes the response and then gives me a response back in turn. And all these other pipelines are set up the same way. So the first thing is I've given it a unique name. Nothing else in my home assistant instance is called security check. So when I ask my LLM to run a security check, it knows to go right here. I've also defined this tool very detailed so the LLM is sure about what it is and what it does. Then we set up those four fields that I mentioned which act as the pipelines. And if you are looking for where to add fields, by default, this section is hidden for whatever reason in Home Assistant. You won't see this button unless you go to the overflow menu and you'll see add fields right here. And this only works for scripts. You can't add fields to automations. And if you don't see fields, again, go to the overflow menu and it should be there. I have a select type of field, which is basically radio buttons for the LLM to choose which pipeline to go down. And now here are the four pathways. Here is that most complex one that I mentioned. And the first thing that happens is we need to make sure the condition renders true that the LLM actually did select this. This is all that this template does is it makes sure that this is selected. If it, if it is selected, it knows to continue down this pipeline. We'll trigger all my blink cameras, trigger the ring cameras to take fresh snapshots, allow those clouds to process those images and make them available on Home Assistant. And then we have it processed by the LLM Vision Analyzer. You're gonna see the YAML view when I open this up, but there is a very user-friendly UI to build this out as well. This thing that makes this work here is really listing all the camera entities that you need and then building a good prompt to get back the response that you want. I'll briefly show you what the UI looks like for this integration. So you choose the model that you'd like to use. And you configure this earlier in the integration setup to drop in your API key for whatever model you're using. You put your prompt right here. There's a bunch of other options. I recommend doing some research because this integration is robust. It does a lot more than what I'm just using it for today. And then you need to make sure that you define a response variable so you know how to call back this information once the analysis concludes. So something like camera, snapshot, summary, something like that. And of course, you need to add all of your image entities for analysis. In this case, it's going to be a bunch of my cameras, in particular, the snapshots, because that was what was just triggered before to get fresh versions of. And then, well, let me delete this. And then we have to stop the sequence to properly set this response variable send it back up to the LLM. And if I take a look at one of these response variables, we can see everything that's getting sent back to the LLM for analysis and then giving me the security check that I asked for. In this first chunk, it's giving the LLM the state of all the motion sensors, just a simple template. You can look up how to create templates like this in Home Assistant documentation, or honestly, you can ask ChatGPT and it should be able to generate a basic template. This one is similar, but gives the state of all the contact sensors. So that basically gives it the window and door states, whether they're open or closed. And then the last variable here we have established is the summary of all those camera snapshots. So now all three of these variables get rolled back up to the original LLM I was talking to. And then that LLM is able to give me a very clear, concise description and the current state of the security in my home. And honestly, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple once you understand the anatomy of how to pass variables and responses back to your LLM assistant. Once you get it going in a few automations, you can expand it to do all kinds of really awesome things. Well, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here. 
And if you are, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next one.